What's going on everybody, Anthony here with Apex back again with another video. Today, we're doing something a little different. We're gonna be putting a TV on the wall in my shop here at my home. And um, I used to do this for a living many years ago and I did it for many years. Uh, most of the TVs in my house, actually I think all the TVs in my house, I mounted on the wall. And this one, I'm going to show you guys how to mount a TV on your wall and how I do it. It's not the right way, it's not the wrong way, it's my way, but um, Let's get started. All right, first things first, crack a a and zero sugar, like so. <sighs> okay, next, you're gonna wanna find out where your mount mounts to the actual TV. So um, there's a few, quite a few different mounts. I'm just doing a standard flat mount, not a swivel mount. The swivel mounts are a little bit easier, I think. But we're just doing a regular flat mount with the mount that I have laying around in my garage so or in my house and uh, so let's just get this thing mounted okay for this one you're just gonna want to find the mounting brackets and I usually you don't want these showing right so you want to put them to where they're not showing you don't want them too too high or too low um, that was upside down but either way uh, you get the point so you don't want these to be too high or too low these i've actually fabricated for a reason uh, because i mounted them to a very small tv so um, yeah so basically you want to the position does, is not too important unless how you're trying to fit on the wall and you're trying to hide something like um I, like if the mounts were in the center and you need these brackets to be you know uh or you want the tv as low as possible then you would uh these would matter but as long as they're pretty much centered and not anything crazy um, and out of the way then you should be good on mounting these to the tv okay so you're going to want to find the actual screws that go into this tv here and you may have to use spacers uh these screw holes are like recessed inside of the hole here so i wish i had something that's slight, slightly smaller and i don't but that's no problem uh, because most of these kits come with these little spacers and you can use these to kind of get rid of some of that some of that extra space so um, let's get these things mounted here I want to go for the third hole there and then throw that on get that screw started in there for the most part throw our other screw down here bada bing bada boom we're not we don't have our washer on there This kit, I believe, is an Amazon kit, so it's nothing crazy, nothing fancy. It's just standard TV mount. Let's see if this will reach. Okay. Boom and boom. Okay, perfect. Third hole. Boom. Okay, another spacer. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Boom. 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 Okay, now we will, we're gonna put our mount up here just to get an idea of where it's supposed to be. Okay, so here's our mount. This is how it's going going to go on the wall sorry about that um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and set it in here like so and usually I'll go for the middle there and I will measure to the top of the bracket here to the top of the TV and so what this is going to do is tell me how high this mount is going to be and you want to get it close it doesn't have to be perfect but it's about five and a half inches so that's going to tell you how where your TV is going to end up up to where you you put your bracket so like let's say you want this TV on the wall you want it you want to the top of the TV to be a um, let's say it's 48 inches so you would go 48 to the top of the TV plus that five and a half inches that we measured when we put the bracket up there so I'm not good at math that's like 53 I think 53 and a half um, inches to the top of this bracket so that's going to tell you to the top of your bracket okay your next measurement uh and so what i normally do is i will put that on the wall and that's going to give you some play here so 
you're gonna mount it on the wall and it doesn't have to be perfect, but you got about an inch and a half to two inches of wiggle room left to right. So um, as long as your center point of your bracket, so uh, your measurement is going to be to the top of the bracket and then your side to side measurement will obviously be the, the width of the bracket. So um, that's basically how I mount TVs. So I'm going to mount this thing five and a half inches and then however high I want it off the off the ceiling. So, um, and that's where the bracket will end up. Okay, so there's no outlet on this wall here. I'm gonna figure that out later. I'm just gonna run a strip here um, across the wall. So my TV's gonna be here. I'm gonna run a small strip across to my outlet because this is the garage, I don't really care. And I, I would run it down to the floor and over, but I actually backed my truck in here and I actually put the actual truck against the wall. So uh, with that said, um, let's go ahead and find our studs. Now this is good if you have a matching paint color because let's say you make a mark on the wall, you can just throw a little uh, dab of paint on there and boom, the mark is gone. So we just wanna find our studs and the, the uh, bracket is about three feet long. So we wanna find uh, the center point of the area that we're working with. So you can take a tape measure and measure uh, your left to right and find your center point of where your mount is going to go. Okay, so um, in this case, um, I'm just gonna eyeball it here, but for you, take your measurement on where you want your center piece, and then we're just going to find the center, and then we're going to mark all the studs. So you're, you're gonna need a stud finder for this, so just keep that in mind. I think I already know where a couple studs are because I've already put something here already. So as you can see, it's pulling up a stud there, and so I'm finding the stud, and I know there's a stud here somewhere. Cause you can see where I've already put. So there's a stud here. This is the center point. My stud finder marks the center. So boom, we know it's, there's a stud there and we could just draw a little, a little X there if you want. Doesn't matter how big, we're gonna touch it up with some paint anyways. So they're usually like 18 inches on center, but just start out here and find your next stud. You can even knock on the wall and you'll find a hard spot like right here. All right, we know another center point is here. All right, so you only need to find two, honestly. One lag is going to hold this bracket up by itself, literally, uh, for this TV. So one lag is gonna hold 100, 150 pounds. So one lag on each side is going to do the job. You could put two lag or four lags, so two and two as well. But honestly, if you're uh, up to a 42 inch, TVs are so light these days that you don't need to put a whole bunch of holes in your wall for no reason. Two lags and use this with caution i'm not saying this is the, the right way and like i like i always say it's my way two lags is plenty one on each side boom and you're done so let's get the bracket let's throw it on the wall and we'll go from there okay so mem remember the measurement we took earlier you're going to measure from this from the ceiling to the top of your tv on where you want your your mount to be okay so at this point like i want my my mount to be my TV to be almost flush with this because I need it higher than my bumper on my truck. So I might even go higher up to this point here. And this bracket actually comes with a little level in it. So we know where our marks are here and here. So I'm just gonna slide this over just a little bit and we're just going to mount this on the wall here. And so what you can do is take a wood screw or a, you know, any screw really. Um, and you can put the, uh, a small screw in to kind of hold your bracket here, but I'm just going to free, free eye it here. A little freestyle, if you will. And my holes are here, so I'm just going to mark this here. Oh, it moved on me, so. Like that. I'm gonna come over to this side and do the same. Okay, and at this point, you can double check with a stud finder. 
um, because I went a little bit higher because like I said, I want my TV to be high and I want my, my, my TV's going to come up here, remember? Because my bracket is about five and a half inches from the top of the TV. So the top of my TV is actually going to be up here, which is where I want it. So um, for you, let's say you want it five and a half inches. You want it to be flush with the, with the base here. All right, sorry I was interrupted, but um, okay. So now you're gonna wanna put your bracket up here. And what I like to do is get a couple of wood screws or metal screws, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna use these to make sure that when I put this little screw in, that it's going to hit the stud. Not only is it going to uh, tell me if I'm gonna hit a stud, but it's also going to tell me, or I mean, it's going to allow me to drill a little kind of a pilot hole with the screw. So let's go ahead and throw this up here. <clears throat> and make sure you put it right side up. That does make a difference. So I'm gonna put this up here like this. And again, I have wiggle room um, with how I'm mounting it. So, wish I had a tool belt on, but we'll just go ahead and, um, we don't even need the bracket, honestly. We can just put the screws in and this will lay on the, on the bracket. So let's go ahead and throw a screw in. that 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 screw went into an actual stud let's try this one now okay this one missed so i'm going to go ahead and re re stud find it so we just put a little small hole there no problem i think i'm just to the side of it so we're just going to find out here in a minute Okay, it's saying it's over here to the side here. So let's go ahead and move over a little bit. That's why you don't just put a giant lag in there because um, it's actually where I put my other mark for my other hole. Okay, so now at this point, we'll get our bracket and we'll just throw it up here on the wall. And like so. And as you can see, my bubble is nice and level. And it's actually not, now it's level uh, because it has still any screws. So now we know our lags are going to go in there. We got a nice little pilot hole from the screws and we will be able to sink the lags in with no problem. So let's go ahead and throw these lag bolts in. Okay, so the lag bolts I have were too big. So we're gonna drill a pilot hole for the for these, for these lag bolts. So let's go ahead and take these screws out. And then I'm just going to uh, put this to the side for now. And drill a pilot hole here. Okay, one pilot hole down. Now we'll remove this other screw here. Okay, and then we'll drill this pilot hole here. Okay, perfect. Now, now we'll put our lag bolts in. Let me go grab those. All right, so all I have are these, these giant ones. You only need about an inch and a half or two inches. This, this looks like two and a half inches, but, and it's pretty thick for what we're doing. But in the end, we're only using one of each. So let's go ahead and throw them in. So I'm gonna go with that there. Go with that. One's in there. And I'm gonna go like this. Okay. All 
right, boom, there you go. So I could probably hang from this if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but you can see that this thing will hold up two to 300 pounds, I would say, maybe even more. Um, so now we'll throw our TV up here. I'll bring y'all in for a closer look on the, on the bubble there. And as you can see, we're nice and level. So let's go ahead and uh, throw our TV up here. Okay, so I like to build my, uh, put my brackets on and everything with the TV on the stand. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this stand here from the bottom, from the base. And um, it makes it easier to put the brackets and everything on. So we will remove these four screws here. this point I'm gonna take my power wire off we're gonna put that on afterwards I just want to show it on the wall for you guys so you can see but I'm gonna be connecting a fire stick to this so all I gotta do is run one extension cord to this thing and boom um, as long as it has at least two ports for plugging in the fire stick and the TV and it's not crazy voltage on these TVs so you don't need a, a really thick extension cable or anything like that just a standard a standard house one will do just fine so let me um, go ahead and bring you guys over to the wall and I'll go throw this on the wall. All right, so we got our TV here. I'm just going to spin it around. And it's just a cheap garage TV, so nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Let's throw it up here. So I'm gonna find the hooks, hook it on, and boom. We're on on both, okay? so. Now, at this point, you have all that room. You could even move the bracket over, like take the lag bolts out, move the bracket over if you want to, but we're going to slide it over, and that's pretty much almost centered with what I'm working with. Let me back you up here and show you what I'm working with here. So, let me get y'all somewhat centered. As you can see, I want it to be equal distance from this, all this stuff here and that, and we're roughly there so that's my garage tv there and um yeah so that's pretty much it for this job here i'm gonna run a little strip here like uh i ordered more of this stuff here that's kind of the two-way tape and this stuff actually sticks really well believe it or not um and i'm just going to run it across just like this to kind of hide my extension cable which is no problem there so um, that's what I plan on doing for the power wire. So it's going to go straight there and go to my outlet that's right down over where my workbenches are. Um, but that's pretty much it for hanging a flat screen TV. Hopefully you learned something. Again, you have plenty of room for error. If you need to go higher, you can go higher with moving the brackets. If you need to go left or right, you can move the whole bracket or move the whole TV. Um, but like I said, I wanted mine to be just above covering my flags. And that's exactly where I was, but let's say I wanted it flush with the base of my flags. Well, then I could have made that measurement from the ceiling uh, to the top of the TV and then plus five and a half inches of what we measured. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Hopefully you learned something. Tell me what I did wrong or what you think I did wrong. Like I say it, like I said, and always say, uh, it's, this isn't the right way, it's not the wrong way, it's my way. And we'll catch you guys next time.